your I resume, that baby. One. That's, that's right. Like a guy give him your really, resume. That's give really unsure resume. of himself. Hey, I'm just saying. Give him your resume. But the only time people respond like that is when it is really uh, getting to them. I, come that, on, that, tell the truth, he, he got time to respond this week. Tell True. the truth, bro. True. Man, the man just gave you his resume. Like, I'm glad I'm coming for this. know his resume. He was frustrated. He might... So the reporter who asked, he probably didn't know his resume. On, so he had to make sure he resume. did know his resume. Man, the man said he was two-time Super Bowl did. champion, won 100 something games, man. Been playing in the league, been playing in the league for over 14 something <laughs> years, man. Don't go from this I ain't going nowhere. No, 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 I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be back. He got a low resume, man. Yeah, he got a great resume, but I right, come on, dog. You know, you've talked to players, you, you've been in locker room. Guys respond like that. That shows you something. That tells you something. And Ben, you talk about his experience all the, in, in all the years he's been in the league. He should know better than to respond nah, like that. No, this is his first time ever being in this kind of situation. That's what I was trying to explain. What kind of situation? What kind of situation? Struggling like this. He's never struggled like this consistently. Ben may struggle a game or mm -hmm. two, but he's never struggled four or five games in a row. So he's, he's really healthy, going yeah. through it. He's really going through it right now. So when you going through it towards the end of your career because this is your 15? Something like but that. But whatever. He, yeah. He's played in the league a lot of years. But when you go through towards the end of your career, it hurts. Like, I get it. I understand. Now, I went through a time when I struggled like the beginning and the middle of my career, but probably never towards the end. But when you got a guy who's the head guy of that team and he's struggling and it's not Le'Veon's fault, it's not A.B. fault, it's Big Ben's fault. And he understands that. But of course, I'm gonna defend myself. You gonna get tired of somebody talking about you, so you gonna throw it but, out but, there. But, but, but that's the nature of the beast. You defend yourself by going out on the field and doing your thing. That's yeah. how you defend yourself. The media's job is to go in there and get you riled up, and you come on, I Big Ben knows this. There, are two, it, it, there it, were two different press conferences. There was the Sunday one where yeah. he was mopey, and then there was the Wednesday one where he said, "What are you talking about? I'm fine. I'm com I'm completely cool." Right. I, one of the things I'm sympathetic as a reporter to you guys is you have to come out and talk to us and explain yourself after a three-hour emotional, right. physical game. It is tough. Right. And sometimes when you're frustrated, you have to talk. It's in your contract, especially if you're the quarterback. I get it. Yeah. It's tough. But how many times do I hear quarterbacks, coaches, star players tell me as reporters, when we talk to you, that's us talking to our teammates. We need to send the right message to them. He did not do that on that's Sunday. I think he realized by the time he got in front of the cameras again Wednesday, I need to counter that by being up here with my confidence level, and that's what you saw. But you can't have that mopey, oh, this is Big, yeah. big Ben. Well, he says and that he's, he says that he's not questioning that's himself he after he's questioning himself. And now he has <laughs> right. to face the Chiefs. Right. Right. Well, he had to no. overcorrecting. He had to bring it That's back to center. Saying. That's what he had to do there, right? I mean, we saying what he should do or what we think he should do. So he can do what he wants to do, mm -hmm. really. So he should have a certain kind of posture. He should come to the media a certain way. No, I don't have to. That's what y'all used to saying. I don't have to answer like that. I can change my story three times out of the week. So there's a reason why we keep talking about seven, because the story have changed three times out of the week. So I get it. But at the same time, you're not going to tell me how I should respond in the way my body language should be. Yeah. That's what you're not going to do. But, but you know what? I, I just look at this offense completely, and they have so many number one targets or so many number one threats on that offense. I mean, they have three or four guys that can be the focal point of any offense in the National Football League. And you're the maestro of all this, right? right? You got A.B. on the outside. You hear the chatter. You hear the, you see the cooler go past your face. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You got, you got Le'Veon Bell in the backfield. They're and you food. know you cannot win without this guy getting the ball. Right. You know that. You have a guy in the slot that you know get, that, that can beat people one-on-one -on -one. with Juju. Right. So, what, and, and another guy on the other side that can fly past Martinez. the entire defense. Right. So I'm a quarterback here, and I'm seeing all of these things. Where does the ball go? Where does the ball go? And, and, and I'm hearing everything in the huddle because I know these guys are coming back to the huddle saying, Ben, what's up, dog? Mm -hmm. What's up? We can so win. Give gotta, me the ball. He's, he's the glue. Be the guy. He's got to be the guy. He's so he has to step up there confidently. I mean, you got to understand, and, and we're going to get back. Let me fix my stuff. You got to understand. <laughs> we're going to get back to this. Perfect. So out of all these guys, and no disrespect to none of my former teammates, but out of Martavius, he hasn't been there completely. Yeah. Out of Le'Veon, he hasn't been there completely. Juju is a rookie. The guy who's been there through thick and thin with me when, when it was crunch time been who? What number? 84. 84. Mm -hmm. So I get it. So now what Ben has to do is like, you know what? I'm throwing it to the open guy. Y'all don't come back to me. I don't want to hit nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm going through my reads. I'm throwing it to the open guy. Guys respect right. it. Once he say that, everything will be cool. But him forcing or trying to 
Well, forcing the ball to 84, I get it because that guy has been with him through thick and thin. Sure. Yeah, I mean, this was an offense that was supposed to be a machine, and they're 19th in points per game right now. All change. You got to get that synthetic. Come on. Come on, Ben. Let's get it going. He's the glue guy here. All right. Crazy, man. Well, while drama and doubt surround.